I love Ellen to the ends of the earth. But I swear to God, I mean, I can't so much as go for a piss without her telling me it's what my sister would have wanted. She lives on through us, apparently. Make every day count. Bloody angels and rainbows. The woman's a walking wall sticker. Well, if it helps her process things, then... Ah, but I don't think she is, though. I don't think she's processing anything. Whenever I try to talk to her about it, it's... Oh, I, I don't know, it's, it's like an act. It's like watching somebody get interviewed for daytime television. She never talks about what happened. It's, it's all cliches and quotes for fridge magnets. She still refers to it as an accident. She thinks you blame her for what happened. Does she? Well, I don't. I do. What? I blame her for what happened. And I blame you. I blame myself. I blame the people she worked with, her friends, the postman, her hairdresser, the woman who served her coffee at the bean every morning. Because someone, someone should have noticed how desperately fucking unhappy she was. We should have known. We were her family and we should have known. Maybe we did. Maybe she did. And that's why none of us talk about anything anymore because... It's just too fucking hard. We never asked. We never listened. God. I wish I could have just one afternoon. Just, just a minute. To go back and ask her. Are you okay? Do you want to go for some shit wine in a cabbie Italian restaurant? <laughs> because I never did. I never asked. I never listened. She was always there. She was always just there. But now she's not.